How do you get the best worm chow recipe that you can possibly get your hands on? Stick around and I'll show you how. Hey everybody, it's Robbie with Missouri Worm Supply. Do uh, you want to get the worm, perfect worm chow? You want the perfect worm chow recipe? I'm going to show you how we figured out what works best for us. If everybody knows I've been following, you know that this CFT bin is in our garage. This is our test bin. Um, Got to give you a quick overlay. Uh, anything that we want to test, we want to test different materials. If it's uh, maybe oak leaves over, you know, uh, spruce leaves or what have you. We, we do these tests here and we see how the worms react, what they eat, what they don't eat. We do our tests. These little tabs, these are what you get from any grow store, you know, you put down here a Brussels sprouts, you put it in your seed tray, and then you know whenever later you come back to those little tiny seedlings, that's your Brussels sprouts. We take these, and I'll write on here um, recipe number one. As you can see, we have in each one of the worm chow rows here, we have a little tab. Well, this one will be recipe one, recipe two, recipe three, and recipe four. Now, there are several different recipes out there online. Uh, Pachamama Worms, he has a great recipe. We got our base recipe from a friend of ours named Tony up in Wisconsin. Thanks, Mr. Tony. Now, we've enhanced on that. Um, you'll see different people use different things. Now, our worm chow, we have seven different ingredients or seven different foods. Plus, we have trace minerals, we have dosamite lime, and we also have grit already in our worm chow. So, if you do purchase worm chow from us, it's already got everything you need in there. You just throw it in your bin and you're done. But if you want to enhance or make your own worm chow, here's a good way. You're going to need all your basic ingredients that you think you're going to start with. And you're going to have to keep up with recipe one is, let's say, chicken crumbles, bird seed, and maybe beets. And how much? Maybe one cup of each. Your second recipe, maybe it's two cups of bird seed beets, maybe some molasses, or whatever your recipes are. You're going to have to play with that. Um, so what you'll do is you come up with those, and in here, this will be recipe one. This spread of worm chow will be that. This will be recipe two, recipe three, recipe four, and up underneath there is actually recipe five. Now what we do is we wet this down, we keep an eye on it. And let's say that this recipe here, all the worms, they're just tearing this pile up compared to this pile. Well, we will get rid of that recipe. We say, oh, that's not working for us. This is better. Uh, and then we'll enhance on this one. Okay, let's add this to it or let's add this to it. So you can run several different worm recipes, worm chow recipes, all at one time and try to get the results you're looking for. You want fat, healthy worms that are eating what they need to eat. So we've been running our uh, tests like this on different foods, on different beddings and everything like that. If you've been watching this for about six months now, the food is by far one of our best ones. Uh, by running a test like this, you can tell what the worms are eating. Um, if they like recipe one, then hey, by all means, feed recipe one. But now you can enhance on it. Maybe you find out, hey, this guy over in Australia, he's grinding up, you know, frog toes, putting them in the worm, and the worms are growing twice as fast. Let's say you don't have the room, the time, the patience, or you don't want to buy all the different ingredients to try all the worm chows, because it can get a little expensive. Uh, we do sell this blend of our worm chow on our website, www.missouriwormsupply.com. Like I said, we're always improving on it. If we find out that there's a new magic ingredient out there made out of unicorn farts and fairy dust, hey, we're going to give it a shot. If it works better, we'll change our recipe. Um, but it's out there. It's, it's a one and done. You got your food. You got your minerals. You got your grit. You've got your lime to keep your pH right. Uh, by all means, you can go to the website and pick it up. Otherwise, you can do this in a small bin. Um, let's say you just have a bed like this size right here. All right. And you can run a test of food here, a test of food here, and a test of food here. It'll take you longer depending on how many worms you have in there, uh, but you can do that yourself. Hey guys, if you like what you're seeing, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As you may know, uh, the worms love sweets. So do the microbes. They, they just love it. So we do have, in all of our worm chows, we do have uh, dried molasses. So anyway, guys, this is one way that you can run tests on chows. Uh, maybe you buy a chow from 
vendor number one and you buy a chow from vendor number two, you can run this test with the small little bags you buy uh, yourself. And maybe you're like, okay, well, this is the only worm chow I've ever bought. How do I know if his is better? This is definitely the way. You can run this in a small bin. So you can put a couple rows, wet them down, and see what happens. They may be exactly the same. But they may not like one more than the other. But it's just another way you can run tests yourself. Thank you.